Um, I see. It, it turned. It turned much easier than it did before it snapped. Um, is it high enough voltage to draw on? And as the voltage comes down, they switch off one by one. As you can see from Russell's motion, the device itself doesn't actually inhibit any of the movement because wherever the leg will go, the device will actually follow on its side. So actually, the user can move it about at an angle and the device never actually gets in the way. Now, as well as that, we also have a series connection, the live lines, two brown cables, you might be able to see them there. Right? Now that will measure the power, the current that's actually coming in through the main supply, and that is where we actually will make our measurements. Now, here is the regulator we talked about earlier. This is a DC converter, so that we can actually make these measurements and reduce our sample rate to about 2 hertz, something. So we worked out that this has to have around, I think it's 15 amps AC minimum to be able to measure something. The maximum we can get out of a wall without setting fire to anything is 13 amps. So, what so uh, it, it supplies a, a feed phase uh, load and that's the current clamp around the brown wire. So I think it'll pan up, follow that up. So that is how the, the meter is remotely recording current measurements uh, and assessing load capacity percentage that you're actually using for the household to measure. That was then getting transmitted to the internet. The user could access these graphs whenever they so please from any device. Yeah, the foundation is getting a little bit more. 